Jeff, off the gridiron. Make it a fire pit. All right, early bushcrafters in practice. Good job, guys. Hey, it's Jeff off the gridiron. We've been out here at the property, and in a quick, short order, the boys have been in great help. We built a little, little bed, a little bench for us. Say, hey, guys. Yeah. Landon's yeah. processing wood like crazy. We got a fire going, and uh, we're having a great time in the woods. Maybe this is the start of our shelter. The boys and I are out. We've uh, spent about two hours and started our little camp. We made a raised bed out of uh, or bench out of some cedar. The boys found some rocks and they've been processing some wood, getting that ready for uh, our fire and uh, our future visits. Next time we come, we're going to build the roof and start the walls and uh, have that ready for a shelter. Our shelter is uh, really close to home probably about 15 minutes away so this is a perfect location and it's on family property which is a bonus so we're just getting hit some water started we're gonna have some hot chocolate and enjoy the day in the woods what's been your favorite part so far guys mm, mining trees cutting trees yep over here starting the fire starting the fire Mine's going to be having hot chocolate here. I better find my gloves and get this pot off. That's going to be mine. All right. These gloves are already... I don't want to use these because they're... They're rough. What you doing, Anna? Get more firewood? Yep. Okay. Those hot chocolate boys. Yummy. Always tastes better in the woods, doesn't it? So I've just uh, left the fire for a minute and uh, out processing a few, uh, getting some branches for the, the lean to part of the shelter. But what you can't see, and or you can't hear, is uh, the two boys up there making cedar tea. Finding wood to put in the fire, not arguing. Oh, there he is with a hatchet cutting up some wood. And I'm telling you, is that not better than electronics or what? They just asked if they could stay a couple more hours. And just a little bit of controlled freedom and guidance. What to do, what not to do, how to cut. You know, people say, Hatchets and saws are dangerous. Well, only if you don't teach them how to use them properly. But they have two hands on the hatchet, and they're by themselves. You know, other than their feet and their knees, which, you know, hopefully they don't hit those. They're, uh, 
We're having fun. Playing in the woods. Just like I did when I was young. So. Maybe not all the arguing, but <laughs> at least having fun in the woods, where boys belong, boys and girls. Okay, Landon, heads up, coming in with another log. Okay, so far the shelter's coming along. I had two fork sticks on either side. On the inside of my main live trees, put the branch down through the fork and then down on top. And that is all just a pressure fit, pushing it out. The weight of the kind of vertical supports this way is jamming these pieces of the end in here, keeping the weight down and pushed out and without any cordage at all it's very very sturdy so it's coming together nicely i might replace this one it's a little little short especially when the snow melts but uh that's okay there's a lot of them and we're just grabbing dead trees often uh kind of deadwood standing and we're just harvesting that trying to get some long ones and then we'll trim it up later on and that'll we want to knock all these uh, little nubs off. One of the tricks you can do with your with your tree, with those if you have those little sticks on the edge, is take it and slide it along another tree, and the friction between the two will actually knock those those uh, little branches right off without trying to take them off the, the saw or the uh, hatchet. Okay, let's go get some more. Putting water on the fire. Come and cut some more branches with me. Yeah, cut it off at the bottom.
good. One more. Okay. Let's get for water here. Can you carry can you carry this? Pull up the saw. Well guys, there you have it, the start of our uh, bushcraft shelter at our our property. Pretty happy with that, a couple hours of work, and uh, no cordage. Again, we made these, uh, grabbed these little forks in the tree, cross member, and the top rail, raised bed, had a nice fire. Next time we'll come back and we'll uh, do a reflector and uh, close in the bed a little bit. And I might do logs right through the back. So we can have uh, kind of multi people. I might bring the boys out for an overnight. Pretty cool start. Happy with that. This has been Jeff off the gridiron. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your outdoors. Bye for now.